The fourth most crippling little voice is one that you've seen all around you. It, maybe it frustrates you, maybe it frustrates you watching other people exhibit it. And before I tell you what it is, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna draw a little graph for you so you can see what it is and how it comes about. See, what happens for a lot of people, let's say we start here and we wanna learn something new. We wanna take on a new project. We wanna, we wanna sell a new program. We want to learn how to, learn how to speak a foreign language. Could be a lot of different things that we wanna do. And typically when we start a process like that, our frustration level, since we don't know what to do, is fairly high. And our competence level is pretty, what? Low, normal. But over time, over time, if you follow a given process, and we'll talk a little bit about this later, if you follow a given process, ultimately the frustration should go down and your competency level should come up, right? Until you get to this point I call the aha moment. Aha moment, that's a moment when you think, I think I can do this. I think I know how to get myself to the bathroom if I need to, if I'm in a foreign country now. I can speak enough Italian to get that done. You know what I'm saying? Or I think that I, I've not gotten a sales call completed yet, but I'm really close and I really feel like I can do it. You know that piece I'm talking about? By the way, this graph is courtesy of dear friend Jim Harris in his book, in one of his books, and he talks about this in great length. But what happens here, contrary to getting to that aha moment, what happens for most people is somewhere before the aha moment, they quit. That's right. Little voice debilitating issue number four, probably the worst of all, is quitting too soon. Most people quit just when victory is over the horizon. They don't have the stamina. They're fatigued. Their self-concept is low. They don't have the right process. They don't have a coach. They don't have a team. They don't have somebody around them to push them to keep them in the heat long enough to get to that aha moment, which, which then gives you the energy to move on. That's why in the programs that, I, that we do, put you into exercises so we compress the time. Like I told you earlier, is that if you're in a sales program with me, get you to sell 10, 15, 20, 30,000 dollars in 10 minutes. Now it may take you three months to do that normally, but by compressing the time and the right context, the right environment, the right coaching, is that what happens is we can slide that whole curve back till you get the aha moment before you can quit. Don't quit before, don't quit before you should. Don't ever do that. Don't ever give up on your dreams. If they're worth doing and they're worth making mistakes to do. And again, if you're working with somebody else on your team, encourage them to stay in the heat a little longer. One of the favorite uh, songs that my son, when he was very little, loved when the Disney movie Hercules came out. It was a song that's his theme song, my theme song too. It's called Going the Distance. And most people don't go the distance. They're not willing to do what it takes. Don't quit just because it gets difficult. Stay in the heat. At the minimum what will happen is you're going to learn something that will get you to your dreams.